Hello everyone, I got Super Mario 3D All-Stars a while back, and the first thing that I did was play some Super Mario Sunshine to see the enhancements and widescreen and stuff like that, and this happened. You, you're back. I hate you, blue coins. You should be in jail. Just like you are right now, but all of you, it's where you belong. Well, maybe that technically is not a jail, because there's an opening in the back, but still, it's a proverbial jail, a symbolic jail. There might be a little bit of lingering bitterness, but that's okay, because I still collected everything, except for one shine, which is the legendary lily pad ride. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what this video is about. But first, we're gonna need to get a Yoshi. Because you see, the thing about the lily pad ride is the lily pad ride does not start at the lily pad ride. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, that island over there, that's where the lily pad ride of doom is. But we need the said Yoshi to be able to get to said lily pad ride, and the reason why we start here to do the lily, lily pad ride is because the whole Yoshi shenanigans going on is a total mess in on itself. <laughs> so, we need to get ourselves a coconut. Actually, I think there's coconuts up uh, up over here, and you just kind of knock them down. Oh, jeez, yeah. No, oh, no! <laughs> I probably should be more a little, little bit more careful about the get that get get that get get. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we need to feed the Yoshi, and then we need to get the Yoshi over there. So what is the ordeal with getting a Yoshi over there anyway? Oh yeah, that's right. I can't do any fancy schmancy hover dealios. I got to do this. So you got to grab the Yoshi, and we got to take a ride to the lily pad ride. Oh, and I should also mention, as long as I'm here. Did you ever notice that the texture of this roof is off? Yeah, it, it's uh, actually fixed though when the Delfino Plaza hap uh, the Delfino Plaza flood happens, excuse me. It's very weird, so <laughs> Whoops, anyway. So now that we got our Yoshi, we can go ahead and take our little friend over here to this spot. Yeah, I'm just gonna zip along through here because it's a little bit quicker going this way than it is to take the boats, although we're still going to have to take the boats. That's why the lily pad ride doesn't start at the lily pad ride. It starts at Delfino Plaza. And here's a boat right now, but uh, it's not exactly the boat that we need. We need that boat. That boat over there it takes a while. Saying, so I might want to refill on your delicious fruits because you don't want to run out of fruit, lose your Yoshi, and you don't want to fall in the water, lose your Yoshi because you have to start it all over again getting the Yoshi all the way over there. So, as long as we're doing all this waiting, I thought I would talk about Sunshine HD and why I chose it first. It wasn't to make fun of the blue coins or anything like that, it's because poopers, it's because of the uh. Uh, like the, the different enhancements that they made to it. Like, look how ridiculously sharp and beautiful this game looks now. Uh, on top of that, the uh, blurry shimmering effect in the background is... Uh, it's still shimmery, but it's now clear, and now you need a pineapple. <laughs> you know, and it's also in widescreen as well to boot, so that's another thing. It, it, it's just all these things that just... It, it just made me think, you know, this would be kind of interesting to re-experience the sunshine, you know? You know? <laughs> so, here I am re-experiencing the sunshine. And it is indeed a beautiful experience to go through. Although, there's, you know, it's still sunshine. So, there's still... Still... It, 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 it's a rough game. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not perfect by any means. And by the way, I flipped that, uh, uh, um, flipped the cover over just by walking right on it. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot, of, a lot of things about the game. But uh, part of the reason why I'm making this video too is to mention, hey, yeah, you know, there's no more of that. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say that I'm actually still bitter about the game or anything like that. You know, it's a good game. 
it's just at the time that I made it, it just, you know, it wasn't the best time, and I was just getting irritated by stuff that I wouldn't otherwise get irritated by, and stuff like that, so, you know, I just want to say, me and Sunshine, we made up, we're on good terms, and we've got to wait for that boat again. Dang it! Boat! Incoming! So, I'm wondering if I should try and get on it when it's like more running towards me so I have more running room. It's like something like at this angle. Oh god! That's why the lily pad ride does not start at the lily pad ride. It starts long before <laughs> the lily pad ride in Delfino Plaza. Round three. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try ground pound this time. I mean I should just be able to run up to it and, you know, land on it, but apparently that is not the case. There we go. <laughs> and now we have to wait for the boat to go around as well. So this is not only the lily pad ride, it is the boat ride of patience. Because not only is there this boat to wait for, there's also another boat on the other end and we get over to that platform over there. By that platform over there, I mean Way, 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 way over... Well, it's not really letting me play with the camera here because I'm on a boat, but... Yeah, over by that other boat that you see over there. <laughs> this is, uh... Yeah. And if I miss that boat jump as well, guess who's starting all over from the beginning again? <laughs> and no, you cannot jump from over there. You know, that the, the main entry place where you enter Delfino Plaza to start the place. Nope. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna happen. We'll not make that jump to over there. Although, uh, there are glitches to just go over to that island by going under the water and stuff like that. But this is the normal way of doing the lily pad ride. Or I should say the pre-lily pad ride. So now you've got to get on top of this thing. Which, if I get the camera right, shouldn't be as hard as landing on a boat. Because the boats are oddly slippery, so... But the, but the regular platforms are not, so I'm just gonna go... There we go. And now we got a nice, delicious, fresh piece of fruit waiting for us. But only use the fruits when, we, when the boat is near or, you know, when you're low on juice or something like that. I don't think this one respawns, if I remember correctly. I mean, it, it might respawn... I don't want to test it now. To, well... I should have enough time if I test it. So let's see if it respawns. I'm hoping it... Okay, it does respawn. I don't know why I didn't think it respawned, because other fruit would respawn. Uh, like stuff in the fountains if you drop it in the water or something like that, and then... Yeah. So anyway... <laughs> eat that fruit to your heart's content, then. And just wait for that poet and enjoy, I guess. Yes. It really is. This... This fantastic... This thrilling... And now I gotta make the jump. Alright, so it looks like we're good. It looks like we're good. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try and vomit up the juice before I even get to the island. If I can, you know, shoot it from a distance just so I don't have to make the jump, if at all possible. Uh, but we'll see when I, once I get around there. So yeah, lily pad ride does not <laughs> start at the lily pad ride. <laughs> it takes quite a while to get to that lily pad ride. And uh, it's it's not a straightforward shot, even though it, you know land is right over there. You can just swim over there. Oh no no, you need the Yoshi vomit to be able to hit that fiery stuff that's covering the pipe over there, and uh, be able to enter it. See that fiery stuff on top? Uh huh. Oh, there's a golden bird if you want to shine. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can hit that. Yes! Yes! Victory! Although I got Yoshi on the island anyway. Now we've made it to the lily, <laughs> the lily pad ride. I know it's it's a miracle. So this water is instant death, by the way. So don't fall in it. These pipes seem to continue on for all of eternity and infinity and beyond. And uh, oh boy, it's gonna be ugly. So. The thing about this that I'm not so sure about is I don't have the same GameCube controller controls. Like, it, one of the things that people wondered was how are they going to do the analog controls with Super Mario Sunshine? And they kind of don't. 
they use both analogs, I, I mean, they use both shoulder triggers to kind of mimic analog, but they're either on at full blast or they're off. Like, here's one that's on, and here's the one that's on, but this is, like, the, the one that's just the regular R button, you can use the point and shoot around like that. But the other one, you can run, you know, the R2, or ZR, excuse me, R2, it's thinking of a different account console, but yeah, so... Since I won't quite have that amount of control, how will uh, I be able to handle the lily pad ride? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Alright, so once we get on here, it starts moving. We oh, should probably accelerate it because this lily pad also dissolves. Yes, I know. It, fantastic, I know. I'm just going to tap it and see how that gets me. Okay. So that, that's a way to sort of mimic the analog is to uh, just tap the uh, water jets and get it to do its thing. Uh, I should probably see if I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, screw it. I was gonna see, see if I can get that. Um, all right, so we gotta go to the poop. <laughs> I was saying poop because I thought I passed it, but then I, I'm thinking of another sort of poop because I accidentally fell into the water. So that was not a preemptive poop to me falling in the water. That was me thinking that I missed the coin, and I, I did sort of miss the coin. But I mean that, you know, you know that I missed the opportunity for it. But anyway, let's try this again, shall we? I'm gonna go point a little to the side and tap that button. Tap it, hold it a little bit more. There we go. Stabilize for number five. Good. I should try and bounce myself off. Well, eh, eh maybe I don't need that life. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good. Right. Oh, okay. So now I gotta get this 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 nasty one here. See this? Yeah. Did you see that? That's that's the one you have to jump for. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> <laughs> but I did it! I did the lily pad right without analog triggers. Uh, I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, especially since I already know how to do this one. But I did it again. <laughs> it's a lot rougher to uh, uh, not have the analog triggers on stuff like the casino panel flipping. You remember that one where you got to flip the 16 panels around? Uh, I'm not going to save just in case something happens to my recording and stuff like that, but... So yeah, there we are, with all of our shines intact. But wait, I don't have all the shines. Oh, but yes, I actually do have all the shines. Did you see my blue coin count? Did you see my blue coin count? Yep, I'm at 240 blue coins. I collected every single one of them for 100% completion. Now we're gonna get them all at once on camera, because this is something I also say to you guys. Because you probably have never seen anyone get 24 shines at once. <laughs> yes, please! Watch those totals move! <laughs> Fantastic! Alright, that's 100% completion. Now, I guess as long as I'm here, I'll show you what I mean about the panels being a thing. So I'm gonna go over to uh, Serena Beach and uh, flop over there. Um, and I while I'm doing this, I should also talk about something else about the blue coins. Is that the blue coins, they do, they do enhance the game in certain ways because they get you to check out things that you wouldn't already check out and try things that you wouldn't already try. Like, uh, over here in Serena Beach, you know, there's that one blue coin where if you spray this sign, you'll get the blue coin, you know, this this one over here. And you're, you're just bound to come across that accidentally because of, you know, cl cleaning Serena Beach mission, where you have to clear all the, the goop and stuff like that around here. So you're just bound to spray it and see that a blue coin comes out of that. And then that prompts you to try to spray other things just to see what other things you might get out of that. And that does a way of enhancing the game's exploration to see, you know, like, what, what other poop can you get out of this? Like, maybe if you spray these things to get a blue coin, you know? You know, what I, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But anyway, let's go in the casino and show you what I mean about the analog dealio here. So, we just gotta go around the corner. And here we are. I said, here we are. 
All right, so I don't have to do the other two. I just want to show you the mat. Oh, I do have to do the other two. I was going to show you the magic panels, but or flip panels, I should say. But well, looks like I'm doing the other two, and that's these aren't really that bad compared to the the magic panels. This one is just pure luck based. It's just yeah, but I'll, I'll cut ahead until I get them all. Oh, oh, oh. You tease. Oh. Oh. Son of an Arceus. What the... Oh, oh, oh. Finally! Alright, we got that one. Let's go ahead and flop over to the second one. This one is a lot easier than the first because you have control over each individual panel to get the sevens. So yeah, this one should go a whole lot easier, except I don't have analog triggers. This is... yeah, uh-huh. So I just kind of, kind of, got to kind of finesse this a little bit here by just kind of dribbling a little water on it if I can. Uh -huh. it, this is going to take me a while. This one seven. <laughs> but it's not as bad as the other one because it's not luck based in a way, you know? You know, you know? So you can sh shoot these any which way you please. You don't have to do any sort of waiting shenanigans or anything like that. I don't know why I'm not hitting that middle one when my water bubbles are clearly shooting at that, but... Alright, one more- No! <laughs> you... Stinker... Finker... I need just a little, little dribble of water there. Eh. Eh. One tiny dribble of water would be lovely here. So yeah, th this this ended up being a problem for, for completing the game. Uh, during an update, though, they uh, did end up adding GameCube controller support by connecting it through the GameCube to Switch adapter, like if you're playing Smash uh, with a GameCube controller. But oh boy, this... this right here. Alright, so my, my strategy actually was to go into first-person view and then just kind of shoot the ones top to bottom, except, you know, they, they got some random odd flips and your water just kind of sp tends to spray everywhere <laughs> just saying there so uh, uh huh please please okay thank you i was gonna say please go and get that one in the right spot all right so yeah analog triggers kind of are a lot more helpful in this uh spray method here i mean they did the best they could with uh you know two, the two shoulder button things but it's not quite the same as analog and that makes stuff like this quite dicey. Uh, I just would like that middle one to finish off layer two here. Oh shoot, oh shoot, I'm not done with layer two yet. <laughs> oh jeez, this is painful. So painful. But yeah, you can indeed get through this. It's just, you know, it's those little hiccups that would not be a factor if you had more light control over your water bubbles. Like You could just do a little you know, uh, towards the board, and you'd be able to flip them, uh, but this doesn't doesn't really doesn't really work the way you hope. <laughs> middle one, please. Middle middle one, please. I'm begging you, middle one, please. Oh man, <laughs> both middle ones, please. <laughs> Good. No, not the top one. <laughs> this is yeah. Uh huh. Will I ever make it to the end? Will I ever? Oh, jeez. Upper corner. Okay, okay, okay. We're 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 getting there again. We're getting there. This is this is this is doable. This is very doable. I just wanted to spit one water bubble up high. Dang it! Because <laughs> because you see it. I'm trying to get it to only spit water at one panel at a time and do like a light flip. I don't exactly have that, that sort of level of control with either shoulder button. Like, here is ZR, here is R, exactly the same. <laughs> Come on, now. Come on, just let me... Maybe I should just go, like... Yeah, and then just hope it just roulettes into position. Oh, jeez! How is it not even turning that middle panel until I got over so and so far. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, two layers! <laughs> two layers. Alright, we're, we're, we, we've got this. We've got... 
<laughs> so yeah, the port is not perfect. <laughs> but I would definitely uh, like if it's not perfect if you're playing with uh, the the switch controller or you know just it's not non analog I should say non analog shoulder buttons. But uh, oh oh, but luckily you you now have the option for the GameCube controller support if you want to get into that deal, y'all. Yes. Yes. I don't feel accomplished at all, actually, because that was pure luck-based. And with that, <laughs> I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.